Hi, Chanel here from Tips and Tricks HQ and in this tutorial, our main focus will be on how you can obtain your PayPal sandbox details to complete a test transaction with your chosen e-commerce platform. We have previously touched on how the PayPal test credit and debit cards can be used, although PayPal also allows merchants to test the flow of events of their checkout if a PayPal account was to be used. I'll be demonstrating using the free WordPress plugin, WP Express Checker, although you will follow a similar approach when testing with any PayPal e-commerce solution. To create a sandbox testing account, you will need a PayPal developer account. So make sure you have one before you continue. I've landed in my PayPal developer account where I've clicked on the accounts menu under sandbox. It's here that we can create a sandbox PayPal account by clicking that create account button. We'll go ahead and we'll create our account and then I'll show you how you can use that on your website. So if we click create account, we'll be able to choose between a personal or business account. So we'll be wanting to choose personal as we want to test as if we were a buyer. So click the personal button and then choose your country or region, followed by clicking create. If it's created successfully, you'll get that little message that says the Sandbox account was created successfully and your Sandbox account will show up at the top there. If you click that little dot, dot, dot button, it allows you to view edit account. From here, you can see your password and the email of that account. You can go ahead and you can change your password if you wish to, but for now, I'll be leaving mine as is and I'll simply copy and paste these details from here straight into the PayPal pop-up window. I've now landed on my testing WordPress website where I'm using the WP Express Checkout plugin. I'm currently running it in test mode so that I can check out with my PayPal Sandbox account. So I'd simply click that PayPal Buy Now button and I'd need to copy and paste in my Sandbox details from the PayPal developer account. So I've got my Sandbox PayPal email and my Sandbox PayPal password. I can click that login button to make the payment. So it's just got those dummy details in that Sandbox account and it's got a fake balance. So I'll just choose to pay with the balance and I'll scroll down. You can also choose to pay with either the fake visa or the fake credit union, depending on where you are located and what options your Sandbox account has. But it's easiest just to use that PayPal balance and then click Pay Now. If you're using the WP Express Checkout plugin in test mode and you've entered in the correct PayPal Sandbox details, you should see the thank you page after that successful transaction using that Sandbox account. So it's really a fake transaction, although this is how the process would look like when you're using the WP Express Checkout with a live PayPal account. So then if you jump back onto your website and you refresh that orders menu, you'll see a completed transaction there. Clicking on it allows me to see more details about who the customer is and what they have purchased. No actual funds will be transacted in this process as it is just a sandbox transaction, which means there's no real funds. So that pretty much sums up how you can locate your Sandbox PayPal developer details and how you can use them on a plugin such as the WP Express Checker when it is in test mode. If you have any further questions or queries, feel free to contact us.